Hello, and welcome to our lesson on solving equations with brackets. So in this lesson, we're going to use the balance method to solve each of the equations from question A to question F. So we'll begin with question A. We have three lots of x plus 4 is equal to 39. Now, this is 3 multiplied by x plus 4. In algebra, we do not write the time symbol because it can be confused with an x symbol. But because we're trying to find out what x is, we can cancel this multiplication of 3 by dividing both sides by 3. Because this is 3 divided by 3 to make 1, so this will cancel. So now we have x plus 4 is equal to 39 divided by 3, which is 13. And now we can cancel off this addition of 4 by taking away 4, because 4 take away itself will make 0. So now we have x will equal the 13 take away 4, which is 9. And I want to show you another way of doing this equation, which involves expanding brackets. Okay. So rather than dividing both sides by 3, we can expand these brackets out. So we have 3 times x, which is 3x, and then 3 times 4, which is 12. And this is equal to 39. So now we can take away the 12. These two will cancel to make 0. So we have 3x is equal to 39 take away 12, which is 27. And then... We can divide both sides by 3, because that is the opposite of times. And these two will cancel to make 1. So we have x is equal to 27 divided by 3, which again is 9. Okay, so to check that this works, we can substitute this 9 back into our equation. We have 3 lots of the x, which is 9, add 4. Well, 9 add 4 is 13. And then 3 multiplied by 13 does make 39. So we know this is the correct solution. Okay, let's move on to question B. So in question B, we have 4 lots of 2c minus 5 is equal to negative 12. And because this is 4 times 2c minus 5, we can divide both sides by 4. And then this multiplication and division will cancel to make 1. So now we have 2c minus 5 is negative 12 divided by 4, which is negative 3. So now we can add 5 to both sides. These two will cancel to make 0. So 2c is equal to the negative 3 add 5, which is 2. And then divide both sides by 2. These will cancel to make 1, so c is equal to 1. And we'll also try this question by expanding brackets. So now we have 4 times 2c, which is 8c. And then 4 times negative 5, which is minus 20. And this is equal to minus 12. So now we'll add 20 to both sides. These will cancel to make 0. So 8c will equal negative 12 add 20, which is 8. We'll divide both sides by 8. These will cancel to make 1c, which is equal to 8 divided by 8, which is 1. And again, we'll check this by substituting it back into the equation. So we have 4, lots of 2 times 1, which is 2, minus for 5 to make negative 12. Well, 2 take away 5 is negative 3, and 4 times negative 3 does make negative 12. So we know the answer is c equals 1. OK, do you want to try question c? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. OK, so for question c, I'm going to begin by dividing both sides by 2, because this multiplication and division will cancel to make 1. So now we have one lot of 5 plus 4v, which is 30 divided by 2, so 15. Now we can take away 5 from both sides. This positive and negative 5 will cancel. So now we have a 4v 
which is equal to 10. So now we'll divide both sides by 4. And these will cancel, so we're left with v is equal to 2.5. Okay, for question D. So for question D, you can see that we're dividing the y plus v8 by 5. So whilst the brackets aren't obvious, when we multiply both sides by 5, we are left with y plus 8 is equal to 10. So now we'll take away 8 from both sides. And these will cancel. So y is equal to 2. And we can check this works by substituting the 2 back in. So we have 2 plus 8 divided by 5, which is 10 divided by 5, and that does make 2. Okay, so do you want to try a question E? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So the first thing we'll do is we'll multiply both sides by 3. This division and multiplication will cancel. So we have u minus 6 is equal to 12. We'll add 6 to both sides. And these will cancel. So we're left with u is equal to 18. And we can check this works. We'll substitute it back in. So we have 18 take away 6, which is 12. And number 12 divided by the 3 does make the 4. So we know that u is equal to 18. Okay, so finally, do you want to try question F? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So for question F, the first thing we're going to do is multiply both sides by 4. The division and multiplication of 4 will cancel. So we have 2 minus 6g is equal to the 8. Now here you can see we've got a negative 6g. And it's easier to solve equations where the unknown is positive. So we'll add 6g to both sides to make it positive on the other side of the equation. And these will cancel. So now we have 2 is equal to 8 plus 6g. We'll take away the 8. And these will cancel. So now we have negative 6 is equal to 6g. And then finally, we'll divide both sides by 6. So we're left with g is equal to negative 1. We'll substitute it back into our equation to check. So 2 minus 6 lots of negative 1 divided by 4. This becomes 2 take away the negative 6, which is 2 plus 6 to make 8. And 8 divided by 4 does make the 2. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.